So hello again. Now I was uh, I was going to have a coffee and basically end my day, but I met Geneva Watch Days and I bumped into these two guys. And in a moment I will I'll flip the camera around and uh, I will explain. But they they caught my attention with their watch, uh, so I shall I shall flip the camera around uh, right now. So guys, once again, um, this is Haltenricht, and I've probably butchered that. Uh, but uh, uh, okay, please tell me um, how do I say Haltenricht? There we go. And uh, this is uh, Damien. Nice to meet you. Uh, and uh, <laughs> nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. And this is Michael, but it's Mikkel. Michiel. Yeah. Mikkel. And yeah. um, uh, so, guys, um, the intro explained that. I was going to have a coffee, and uh, I'd met uh, Michael before, and uh, and then I I basically grabbed these guys because their their watch um, has really caught my attention, and um, I overheard um, uh, them talking about the watch, and uh, the minute they said 3D printing, yeah. I had some uh, engineering questions, and I thought rather than me um, uh, just bother you, I thought I'm just going to shove their microphone on you. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> uh, so um, straight away uh, you said. Um, and um, uh, the, I mean the watch is fantastic and uh, when I held it in my hand I'll just put it in my hand now it, it feels like I'm holding something space age and um, I can feel that the material is exotic but you said 3d printing yeah um, so my engineering background um, it tells me uh, that um, uh, um, so how have you got the, the tensile and the strength properties in, in the material once you've printed it so First of all, when people think about 3D printing, it's, you often think about rapid prototyping, plastic products, shit quality, right? Yes. So we, uh, <laughs> we are using a technology which is developed for the aerospace engineering. Okay. Uh, so you, have, uh, uh, you actually have metal printers. Right. So there are several companies and it's an expanding industry where uh, uh, they are developing technologies to actually create shapes out of metal which yeah. you cannot create with a conventional technique. So that's the added value also. Uh, at the okay, time. that's the bit that really interests me mm. because um, I've understood um, that 3D printing, one of the drawbacks are the, technical, uh, the mechanical properties of the material that you've printed. Now, because a watch um, requires certain tensile strength, um, it's, uh, I mean, if you've been working with the uh, aerospace industry, industry. Um, uh, so you've managed to achieve the tensile strength. Yeah. It, it, right. Yeah. Okay. That's so the interesting bit. You have forged steel, which is, let's say, 100% dense, right? That's right. So we are very near to that. Yeah. Uh, that means that uh, we've, we've actually done uh, thorough uh, testing uh, uh, to create the first prototypes. Like we took uh, about uh, three to four years to prototype actually the first yeah. model. Yeah. And we did various strength tests, deforming tests, etc. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, so it's just like normal steel or normal, yeah. like back then we were printing steel, now it's titanium, we can also do precious metals. Yes. And Precious metals? Yeah. Oh, that is interesting. Um, I'm a precious metal fan. Um, so, But this one you can't. Right. So what, okay. you, what you see here, and that's also the thing yeah. of this watch, this is our latest release. Yeah. Um, this is a timepiece which as you can see from the side, it has yeah. uh, uh, completely skeletonized looks, yeah. uh, with the lines uh, being 0.7 millimeters thin. Wow. And this is titanium grade 5. Yeah. Titanium has this very hard uh, uh, tensile strength. Yeah. Um, so this you really cannot bend. Yeah. We've tried it. <laughs> okay. Uh, but uh, this is extremely strong. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, you can have these kinds of details where the name is integrated. So what we've done here is to showcase the properties of and the possibilities of the technique yeah. by making a design which has all kinds of, yeah, quirks almost, yeah. <laughs> where uh, the lugs are optically detached from the case. Yeah. Um, yeah. Th that's the. Um, so, uh, what we want to do with this with this piece is. Uh, that is fabulous. Uh, test I, I, our yeah. uh, sense for structural logics, right? Yeah. So we, we looked at every layer of a time key. Yes. Yeah. And the beginning was actually a classical watch, like a, a, a dress watch. Yeah. Um, so the beginning was it had to be stylish, right? So yes. Thin, etc. Yeah. And then take every layer, take it apart, 
Yeah. Bring it down to its structural essence and recompose it. Okay. Uh, because uh, we can with our technology. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, the, the heartbeat, um, what's the frequency? So this is a low frequency because yeah. it's a prototype. I know, but I like it. But it's, uh, it's yeah. actually uh, 21600. Oh, right. Okay. So, so this one has a low amplitude. Basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, um, but look at that. It, it's like having a heartbeat on your wrist. Yeah, we finished this one day before the event. Uh, let's put it that. Uh, let's uh, make that. One day important. before the event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Gosh. It's in production actually already. Yeah. Um, okay. What we've done here is to take full control. Uh, we first work with the with with printing, but that's yeah. for the exterior, right? Yes. The uh, here you can see the several phases of uh, of, of finishing. Yes. So this is great. Here you see a completely raw end link. Yeah. From there. We process this by hand with yeah. emery sticks and files. Yeah. So that's all done by hand yeah. into this stage. Yeah. Then we use sound blasting, which is always part of the process because you take the uh, debris off, basically yeah. after printing, yeah. uh, to get this matte texture, yeah. which also feels quite well, actually. Yeah. But beforehand, we make sure that all lines are sharp. Yeah. And then selective parts are finished by hand. either. Either brushed or polished yeah. uh, can be in. Yeah. So you can imagine how labor-intensive this is. Yeah. And you would ask, why would you do it? Well, because you get this result. Th this result, yeah. I, I mean, I, holding it, it, it I, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm holding something that aliens created. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably the, the wrong description, but um, it is so intriguing. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it's so. Uh, I, 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 for some reason, it's like having a, an alien heartbeat on your wrist. Yeah, I, I'm probably butchering um, uh, no, my it explanation. Was, it was not directly the idea behind it, but I can <laughs> see the resemblance. So yeah, yeah. The name is deconstructed because we deconstructed yeah, of, the layers. Of course, yes. But I, yeah. All our timepieces are based on uh, yeah. on architecture. So yes. uh, deconstruction, the, we started first with a classical art deco kind yeah. of watch. Yeah. That was our first model. Yeah. Then after that, we got a more brutalist watch. Yeah. And we introduced a, a, a theme in horology, which yeah. is a horology brut. Yeah. Like it's inspired by Le Corbusier, which was the famous architect from wow. the... Wow, wow. Which was a beton brut, right? So, yes. So, and that means that we really want to showcase uh, parts of the process of the making in its yeah. raw face, combined yeah. with very fine hand finishing. Yeah. So that's a new aesthetic. Yeah. And then this one is deconstructed as a new step yeah. into modernism, yeah. because after Early modernism, yeah. you got postmodernism, right? Yeah. And one stream within postmodernism was deconstructivism. Brilliant. So that's the that's where the name comes from. Uh, Michael and uh, Dominic, uh, thank you so much. Um, uh, do you know this is cool? Um, I'm, I'm going to ask you more questions now, but thank you so much. And we've got the Geneva Lake in the background. Uh, yeah. It couldn't be better, just randomly. Yeah. Uh, okay. Super. Thanks again. Thank you. <laughs>